I'm going to share with you some common mistakes that many guitarists make and how not to make them yourself. So one of the number one mistakes that I see a lot of people do, particularly when they play bar chords, is locked out finger joints. So for example, if I finger a, a major bar chord and I lock out my finger joints, they look something like this. So you can see the knuckles are sort of inward. All of the knuckles are inward. And this does not help your clarity. And it's also very strenuous on your fingertips and your wrist. It's not not healthy for you at all. So it's always good to try and play everything with curved finger joints. This is a more efficient way of transferring energy from your upper arm to your fingers. And of course it helps with clarity because it allows strings to pass beneath your fingers rather than them touching your fingers and making your notes sound very sloppy. The next common mistake that I see quite often are people bending their wrists too much. Now this is really unhealthy for your wrist and potentially can develop into tendonitis. So bending your wrist down like this when you're playing is certainly what not to do. You don't want a bent wrist. Ideally, you want a straight wrist. So when I play scales, for example, my whole arm, my forearm up until my wrist is all straight. And of course, as I get to the top strings and I require more stretches, I do need to drop that wrist. but. I'm just saying generally, ideally, you do want a straighter wrist where possible. So this is not ideal if your wrist looks anything like this. You want a straight wrist or anything just slightly bent. Number three on the common mistakes list is playing with too much gain. I see a lot of guitar players turn their gain on full on their amps, which gives them a really dirty and messy sound and really hides all of the mistakes that they're making. I strongly recommend that anybody plays with a cleaner tone when they are starting out or maybe starting to learn a song and the camera's just died. And the very last thing I want to talk about is learning too little or too much. So it's not good to focus on just one little thing. And equally, it's not good to focus on a lot of things. So for example, people tend to learn something as simple as the A minor pentatonic scale. And then once they've learned the fingering after a couple days, they think they know the scale and they move on to something else. And then ultimately they learn all of these scales, but they can't really do anything with them, which is why I encourage you to learn just one scale, for example, and master this scale, exhaust every possibility possible. There's really so much that you can learn from such little theory knowledge, but a lot of people want to learn everything before they learn how to use the basics. So I strongly recommend that you take it easy and learn what you have, exhaust what you have until you've maxed out all the possibilities. And on the contrary, if you're one of those people who spends a lot of time learning one thing, so for example, just one song and you're trying to master that one song, I don't recommend you do that either because more than likely you're gonna get a lot of frustration from that because you're not going to be able to master that goal in a short term period. So it's best to learn a handful of things and develop each of these things more together rather than just kind of getting frustrated on one thing at a time. So you can see it does depend on what you learn. Generally, I say when it comes to theory, keep it minimal and exhaust your possibilities with as little possibilities I mean, as little knowledge as you can. And I guess when it comes to songs, if you're learning songs, then it's best to learn a handful of songs rather than just one song, depending on the technicality and your ability, of course. If you can think of your own common mistakes that you see people do, then please share them in the comments below and let other people know what not to do when they're playing guitar. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.